Alright, today I'm going to fix the airbag light in my 2005 Infiniti G35 Coupe. Uh, five speed automatic, but the manual should be the same fix. So everybody knows the trick where you can twist the key four times or whatever and it'll clear the code for the airbag light. But if there's an issue with uh, the airbag system, that light won't stay off, um, from my understanding. And um, a really, really common issue with the uh, 05 coupes and a lot of other coupes, I believe, is the uh, airbag connector under the passenger and driver's side seat. So um, if you keep clearing the code, can't get the shell off, um, what you can do is you can put it into I believe diagnostic mode and we'll actually have a specific blink pattern and I'll have a link in the description and it'll show you what pattern means what or you can uh, if you have a buddy with a code reader or maybe even go to a dealership figure out exactly what the code is and if it's B1129 or B1134 um, that's the airbag connector under either the driver's side seat or the passenger seat so for me I actually already did this uh, to the driver's seat and it fixed it for a while and then um, my light started flashing again and I'll show a clip here in a second of what code it was blinking for me once I put it into diagnostic mode and basically that code was telling me hey it's actually the passenger seat now so um, this fix may or may not work for you if you have the same issue as me I don't even know if it's gonna work hopefully it does um, this video I won't post it right after I work on it I'll you know drag it out for a little while and see if this stays or not um, but yeah basically the steps I'm gonna do will apply to the driver's side and passenger side seat if you're getting the codes that I mentioned a little bit earlier really all you need to do this is some scissors or snips a 10 millimeter socket 14 millimeter socket something to break some bolts loose with, or maybe an impact gun or something, and some dielectric grease. Alright, so basically the first step is going to be moving the seat as far back as you can get it, and then popping these covers off of the seat rails right here, which are pretty simple to expose the bolts. Then you're going to get your 14mm socket and your device of breaking it, and uh, you're going to try to break it loose. So then we're going to move the seat as far forward as we can and then pull these guys out and do the same step and break these bolts loose. Alright, one of the first and most important steps is going to be actually disconnecting the battery and letting it sit for about three minutes. Alright, so the next step is to just lift the seat up since we unbolted it and uh, get out all the old receipts and apparently acorn from the previous owner and uh, look for this yellow connector right here. So basically, this yellow connector right here is pretty much the one giving us the code. A couple of years ago, these cars had a recall on them and Infinity's instructions was to actually epoxy the wires into the connector and zip tie the connector together. And what a lot of people, um, from what I found on the forums, believe is that when you epoxy that connector together and zip tie it like that, it doesn't really um, allow for any movement during like heat or cold. So um, it can in turn give a loose connection. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut that zip tie, take the connector out, we're going to open and close the connector a couple of times and then um, put some dielectric grease in it and then put it back together but not zip tie it together. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the zip tie now. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Once again, make sure your battery is disconnected before doing any of this. you guys can still see um, so basically all you do is you pull on this white part right here and then it should disconnect the two pieces of the connector so what you want to do is first of all just look inside of the connector make sure there's nothing odd looking or loose in there Put, give the wires nice good push in there 
um, probably get some uh, cared or canned air and blow it out just to be double sure. Um, and basically just sit here and put the connector back together and then disconnect it and put it back together and disconnect it and repeat that like five or six times. All right, so I'm not sure how well my iPhone camera will pick it up, but I've caked this connector pretty full of uh, um, dielectric grease and ran it in and out of its socket probably five or six times at this point. So what we're gonna do is plug it in the last time, um, go ahead and connect it back to this bracket right here, um, but don't zip tie it. Zip tying it was what a lot of people think hurt it in the first place. All right, so once you get the connector back in there and buttoned up but not zip tied, what we're gonna do is connect the battery back into position. All right, so now before we start it, we're going to clear the code like we had previously, where you sit here, wait for the airbag light to go off, then pull your key out and then do it again. Repeat that about four times. And then basically just start it up and you see there's no airbag light on right now and um, pretty much the test is going to be driving it around for a little while um, seeing if it pops back on if it does put it back in diagnostic mode see if you can figure out what exactly the issue still is in my case I did the driver's seat the light didn't come on for like almost 200 miles 150 miles and then um, out of nowhere the light came back on so then I put it back in the diagnostic mode and figured out it was the passenger seat and uh, you know obviously I just did that. So fingers crossed my light won't pop back on. If it does, uh, you know, I will show it in the end of this video and kind of show where I go from here. If not, uh, you'll probably see an update from me a while later letting you know pretty much the scoop.